the we'll switch it over to him. All right. Well, this is going to be Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, and I guess I, now I have to know. Was it, is it going to be Hero Story, or is it going to be Dark Story? It is going to be a Hero Story by two Euros. <laughs> All right, so I'm ready to go. So if I can get a countdown. In three, two, one, go! So... So here we go, this is going to be the first stage with Sonic, and apparently this is the reason a lot of people donated for this run, because people really like the song in this level. But I should, even though this, the song is playing, I should explain a little bit about this game. Uh, this game consists of uh, three different kind of stages. Uh, first we got the Sonic levels, which is m basically getting to the goal as quickly as possible. Sonic goes really fast and we thought it make those levels really interesting. Um, there are also the mech stages, which are where you play as Tails. In that you are in a giant robot, which will shoot a lot of enemies and whatnot. Uh, finally, we have the treasure hunt stages, uh, where we use uh, where we use knuckles. And in the, in the knuckle stages, you are actually going on a treasure hunt for either three pieces of the emeralds or or some keys in a, one of the levels. And those are really RNG heavy, so hopefully I can get some good RNG on that. So let me quickly explain a little bit about the controls of this game. You see me rolling off these um, hills over here, and uh, when uh, Sonic rolls uh, and he's going down a hill, he gains way more speed than he would normally would uh, if he would just be running down the hill. However, the opposite is also true. If uh, he would actually be rolling up a hill, uh, then he wouldn't go as fast as it would be running. So here we're gonna run off the building and quickly jump off right before the end. Oh, thank you for removing that. Here we quickly jump over this little segment over here. Uh, I did a little thing called uh, a spin jump over there. Um, right after doing a spin, uh, you can do a jump, which makes you jump really far, which will be used to definitely clear some gaps. Uh, so the song is almost over, unfortunately, because here we're gonna go to the final segment of this level, and here we're gonna be uh, here we're gonna be chased by this truck. And this truck is we can stay ahead of it for quite a while, but um, he's a little bit rubber banded, so that means he'll try to go faster if you're going really fast as well. And apparently, there's a really good driver behind this uh, truck because he can take these corners quite easily, actually. Also, you might have seen a little blue figure in the corner there while we were running down the. Um, the level. Oh, there we go. Yes. So there was a little character over there. Uh, that's the devil's pick the cat, and in every stage he's hidden somewhere. So we Sweet. might see him a l few more times. Um, so next up is the knuckle stage, and uh, for this I actually have to focus a little bit on the RNG. It might be that. Oh wait, no, first, first we have a boss fight, of course, how could I forget? Uh, there are, uh, besides doing the stages, there are also these boss fights around. Uh, this is the first one, Bigfoot. And to defeat Bigfoot, uh, you have to hit the little cage where the, where the person is in. Um, however, he will be flying around, which you b can't barely jump high enough to actually hit it. But if we use this box, we can actually just barely jump high enough to actually hit him uh, before he actually lands. We try to go for a quick cycle over here, uh, hitting him four times before he actually flies up, and we did totally fine. Also, a little bit of a glitch if you do uh, dash and then press A immediately after Sonic will go uh, back a little bit. Uh, so next up is Knuckles with a treasure stage. Uh, in this, the, there will be three pieces of the emeralds hidden, um, and I actually have to focus a little bit on the RNG here to see. Oh, there is indeed a free piece over here. Uh, so we're quickly grabbing that. Uh. Hmm. So even though the camera is not there right now, I can still talk a little bit. We've got one of the pieces was actually right in front. Uh, oh wait, uh, hang on. One of the pieces I could actually see without getting a hint. Like normally you quickly grab a hint and with that hint you determine uh, where, the, where the piece is. Um, but since we already saw one of the pieces right at the start, we grabbed that one and getting a quite fast time. I was a little bit confused about one of the hints, but we were yeah, eventually able to grab it. Also, after each level, you can get a rank. Like, normally with the knuckle stages, we will get an A rank, because just because we're finding the pieces, 
pieces quite fast without using more than one hint. So here we have a little bit more of a cutscene, which uh, every cutscene in the story you can skip by just mashing the start button. So we won't actually get uh, a lot from the story. So um, first we're going to fight the Eggman over here, and he takes about four hits to actually go down. So there are two different, uh, well, basically there are three different attacks that Tails can do. Uh, either it can shoot one of his big bullets, uh, it can shoot one of the small bullets, and if it's really close to an enemy, there, a little punching glove will actually come out of out of uh, his machine. Um, the punching glove doesn't do as much damage, so during that Eggman fight I try not to hit him that often with the punching glove. One uh, hit with the punching glove is fine, but um, if it would be more than one, then he would actually take more than four hits. So here we have the Tails stage, like already started a little bit because I'm still explaining, but Tails is kind of a different mechanics than Sonic's, like he's in this mech, oh god. Sometimes that happens when you try to jump up the platform over there, so Unfortunately, we got to do this uh, level again. So here we're gonna go. We're gonna. Uh, I can talk a little bit more about the uh, controls of Tails. Like Tails, uh, once if he just keeps going straight, he can actually build quite some speed. Uh, however, if you go around the corner, he will just basically lose everything of that. However, if you do a jump, you actually still keep a little bit of uh, most of that momentum. So you'll uh, see me jumping through this level a lot, just mostly. Um, Jumping around these corners just so we can try to keep as much as our momentum as possible. I hope to go for a little skip over here. Oh, unfortunately we got hit by the uh, gun machine, so I wasn't able to do it. There will be another chance to do a similar trick like that, but if I don't get it again, then let's just pretend that skip isn't there. So here we have a little segment where we actually got to wait. I'm actually jumping behind the elevator just uh, so I can get off the elevator a little bit earlier. And also because I can hit one of the enemies a little bit early, opening one of the doors. So there we go. And a door, there would normally be a door over here, but I already sh shot one of the enemies while I was on the elevator. So here, gotta wait for this guy to fall down. And going up here. So this guy can be a little bit annoying because he's pretty far away and uh, Tails can also target the bullets he's shooting. Uh, so you actually have to get pretty close there to actually make it up there. Also, th that gold beetle you saw over there, uh, the gold beetle is actually worth a lot of points in comparison to the other enemies. I think it's like a thousand points in comparison to a hundred from the other enemies. Uh, the score will eventually determine uh, which rank we get in the game. And for this run, however, it doesn't matter which rank we get because we're just beating the hero story. However, if we, if we would be going for all emblems, uh, you actually need to A rank each stage and uh, you would actually uh, try to go for those enemies because they're usually worth to go for to actually get a high enough score to get the A rank. So here we uh, went a little bit back and then went just forward again just because when Tails is in that animation, it's his box is actually a little bit lower just so we can enter that a little bit earlier. So that's the first three stages, you've seen a little bit of everything, and now I believe we're going back to Sonic, like I don't know which, in which order the levels are appearing, but it is indeed a Sonic level. And the Metal Harbor is quite an interesting level because we can actually clip through quite a few parts over here and actually skip some things. Also we're going to be seeing the first power-up uh, in, um, in this level. So first we're going to do a quick jump through the bottom over there, and then we, oh, uh, I got I got blocked by the little platform over there. Oh, it, it's fine. We'll just do it. We'll just do this again. So we're gonna skip that loop a little bit, and then go for the same thing again. I'm actually gonna wait for that platform to disappear. And if you do a spin jump like that, you can actually skip that part. So here, oh, and that was weird, Sonic. Sonic wasn't locking onto the enemies. Normally, if he does a homing attack, he just uh, quite easily goes after the next enemy. However, for some reason, he didn't there. Huh, weird. Guess we can do this again then. Oh, I actually used the spring, and the spring isn't that much slower anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. So here we go. Let's take it a little bit more easy. And before we can continue, we're grabbing the first power up over here, which is the light dash. And with the light, or the light shoes, I guess. Uh, if you get uh, next to a line of rings, you can actually just dash 
uh, along with them, that will be used to actually clear some gaps. You're gonna also... Oh. Okay. Ah. This is... Oh. Well, uh, I tried skipping a loop there, so let me try that again. What? Um, okay, come on. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's try that again. Uh, okay, played it a bit more safe there, just so we can skip that loop. That loop is pretty slow to actually go through the normal way, but I guess it would have been way faster instead of what I've been doing. Anyway, this loop isn't solid on the bottom side, so we can just clip in here, skipping that entire loop again. With Sonic, we're going to try to skip as many loops as we can, just because the loops are usually pretty slow. So here we're going to jump through some enemies and actually going to the rocket launching pod. So we're actually going to jump up here and we can just use the upwards momentum from that to actually get up. Hang on. Okay, I was actually on there. The camera gets, a, the camera gets there a little bit... Uh, the camera doesn't really follow you there, so it's a little bit difficult to actually uh, aim for the spring cushion to actually get on top of here, but uh, even we got it within the time limit. Also, you, a thing that I didn't know until I really started speedrunning this game, like I've played this game casually, but apparently you can jump off that uh, little that rocket a little bit earlier by just mashing A and B. It's, uh, it will save a few seconds, but it's still interesting to know. So since we died Halfway through the level, I'm feeling like we're not going to have a great score over here, so it will be an E rank, which is the lowest rank you can get. But, or, oh wait, no, the rank stands for excellent, right? Yeah, that, that, that sounds right, that sounds right. I did excellent there. Anyway, we're going to go fight the next boss, and this is the... F this cutscene would actually also be in the dark story. Uh, some of these uh, stories overlap on parts here and there, just... Uh, because it's basically this, uh, you're basically in the same time frame, but you're just viewing two different uh, sides of the same story. So if we would be playing Dark Story, we would actually be fighting a shadow against Sonic. So here I'm gonna grab a ring for safety, just in case he hits me. Uh, how the damage works in this game is, uh, whenever you don't have rings and you get hit, you just instantly die. But if you... Uh, actually uh, have at least one ring, you will just drop all your rings and we'll still be able to take one more hit until you grab more rings and you get another one of those sort of shields to not die. So here is an, another Sonic level right after the previous one. We're gonna see a lot of Sonic in, the, in this category. Well, probably there, from the top of my head I think there are six Sonic levels. Five or six, I, I don't know, but it feels like there are a lot of Sonic levels around. So in this level we're actually timed. Uh, we have basically eight minutes to get off this island, which is gonna explode. I guess I should explain a little bit about the story because I haven't really touched that yet. So, um, Dr. Eggman broke into some military base and there he found Shadow, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. And Shadow the Hedgehog has for some reason knows a reason, uh, some way to destroy the entire Earth or some uh, giant weapon that's hidden somewhere. So, so Eggman is going to just do what Shadow says. And while, uh, while he's doing that, uh, Shadow says he needs all the Chaos Emeralds, though. So uh, the, the dark uh, side story, so Dr. Eggman, Shadow, and later also Rouge, uh, go on our quest to actually uh, seal out all those Chaos Emeralds. Um, but then the, the other characters, uh, Sonic steals and Knuckles. At a certain moment, Shadow steals one of the Chaos Emeralds, and since he is a hedgehog, apparently just everyone assumes they look like each other, so Sonic is Shadow, even though they're completely different colors, so I don't know why they get confused so easily. So basically, the hero story is mostly the... Uh, the hero side story is being chased by the military and they're trying to find the real villains who are uh, trying to destroy the world and we're gonna try to stop them. So here we're, here we're gonna do a little bit of a spin dash off the side over here and we're actually just... Oh, the camera... Uh, the camera is a little bit weird, so I think I... The camera is 
stuck here. Um, okay, I fell off. This isn't a good place to fall off. Okay, well, we're gonna do this segment again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that it normally doesn't happen that I fall down this. This jump becomes a little bit more difficult since that enemy isn't there anymore, but with just carefully timing your jumps, it should still be fine. So here I'm gonna try it again. Actually gonna jump off the platform here, and there we go. This time we actually just fall down to this next platform over here, and we can just go to the final checkpoint. And then again, previously I said skipping loops is it's usually pretty fast, so we're just gonna jump out of that one. Uh, got us stuck on the side there, but uh, we'll just quickly roll out and hope to get on this final spring over here. And as you can see, we have more than enough time to escape this island within eight minutes. Because the reason... that's why I was starting to tell the story. The reason this island is exploding is basically because uh, Eggman stole three Chaos Emeralds off this island, and he just doesn't want to leave any trace behind that he was oh, over wow. here. Exactly. Eggman has a really weird thought, like, why instead of just leaving no evidence behind, let's just blow up an entire island. <laughs> Alright, so here's Pumpkin Hill, the next treasure hunt stage, and we'll, here we'll be grabbing the first power-up of Narcos, which is the Digging Gloves. And those Digging Gloves, uh, some of the pieces, uh, with the Digging Gloves you can actually find items in the ground. So we're actually gonna go for them quickly. Uh, also did a little bit of a text box skip there by actually grabbing the hint first and then um, grabbing the power up. Let me also. I forgot for a second what the hint was. I believe it's over here. Sometimes there are. Yeah, it's three face goes. The hint uh, implies that it's gonna be next to one of these trees you see around since there are like three faces on them. Uh, however, since some of the hints actually can be in multiple spots, uh, even with the s same first hint, sometimes I just have to look around for a little bit where it's actually. Uh, is that? But this this one could have actually been in like two spots, I think. So that took a little bit longer. Anyway, here we get the next in Ghost Train Station. This one can only be in one spot, so I'll just quickly fly over there. I think I'll barely won't make it, but luckily Knuckles. Oh wait, it's actually in a higher platform. Never mind. So we're actually gonna use this rocket over here. It's actually that higher platform over there. I forgot. So here we're gonna fall down, and it will be right underneath this little station over here on this side. Then we need to grab one more hint. Some of these RNG uh, hints are a little bit longer. Let's quickly see what this one is, suffering from a stuffed nose. Uh, that's, I believe, this one. No, it's actually another one. It's a little bit of flying. Can I uh, do a quick donation? You can definitely do a donation. We have a 140 euro donation. <laughs> from five years. 5k Hypu, which does indeed put us at 5k euros. And they, uh, <laughs> there is a nice message with it with hashtag 5k, hashtag hype, and hashtag round numbers are best numbers. Thank you very, very much for your generosity. It is very much appreciated. Oh. Oh, no, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I was a little bit confused there about where this final piece was, but I found it. Sometimes you just have to go a little bit with your radar and actually f uh, see where it is. Oh, come on. It's, sometimes it's just a little bit random where that uh, thing is gonna be. So, still got an A rank, even though they don't really matter, but it's still nice to see that even if you mess up a little bit on those levels, you can Their still get a pretty good rank. Hype. So, yeah, okay. here we go, we're gonna... Uh, we're gonna skip through some more cutscenes there, and here we're gonna see a, another Tails level. And it, the Tails, Tails movement is still a little bit... Um, I feel like it's missing something, like, sure we can jump, but I still feel like... Um, a robot like this must gain some new more power. So let's first quickly go through this first part of the level and actually find uh, an, an extra power-up, which is gonna be uh, the hover. And with the hover, you can actually uh, hover over some uh, over open uh, gaps like this. Uh, however, it can also be used for uh, doing a 
uh, jump like that. Like you saw me pause the screen for there a moment because I was trying to go for uh, a buffer jump. Like if you start hovering like the, the frame uh, right after you jump, okay. you actually gain way more height than you would actually normally would with with a jump. Uh, so I'll try to skip some little segments with that jump, but uh, the, the tails parts don't actually have that many parts where we actually have to jump over stuff. However, I wasn't able to gain enough height for the weight over there, so uh, we just had to wait for a cycle over there. This entire level is cycle based. And by the way, here's one of those things coming up where I'm gonna do a buffer jump and we just fly over those cages there. Otherwise, you have to grab a rocket and actually break open those cages. Uh, so this level, entire level is based on cycles. Uh, the st cycles of those move, uh, platforms moving... Oh, hang on. Let me actually fly up here. Uh, the entire level is based on these cycles of these uh, black uh, platforms going up and down. So normally you'll either lose no time or lose like 10 seconds at once, just because you have to wait up for the cycle of these platforms over here. Because we're actually going to fly back here and actually grab this platform over here because this one moves up back, uh, up and forward way more quickly. Unfortunately, we skipped one, uh, we missed one cycle because uh, we didn't get uh, a buffer jump on top of the weight, so we lost about 10 seconds to that. But 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 it's fine. Like losing 10 seconds there isn't the biggest deal. Sometimes you get hit by those rockets there because it's. I feel like it's a little bit random when those planes start appearing. Like, sometimes I'm already past where he's gonna hit the rockets, and sometimes I'm just in the middle of it like that. Um, so I, f I feel it's random, but maybe there's some trigger I don't know about what actually uh, determines when that rocket is gonna be shot. Anyway, we're gonna quickly um, get through here, uh, killing the final few enemies, and just trying, uh, when I'm going through this corner, trying to keep as much speed as possible. Um, in, uh, indeed, a good com comment from the person behind me. This level's level actually seems quite similar to the level uh, that Shadow the Hedgehog does in Dark Story as well. That's because most of these levels actually have a counterpart in the other stories. So uh, let me quickly... Uh, this is, I believe, one of the levels that doesn't have a counterpart, but most of the levels also have a counterpart in the other stories. So, uh, for example, we'll have a driving stage with Tails in a moment. And uh, which is there's also one in the dark story, which we'll do in a, a little bit later. Um, this is actually pretty good RNG so far. It's closer. Because we still didn't have to change the water level at all. I feel like I need to do it for this final one though. It's dented ceiling, which is probably it's gonna be faster to just swim down here. Even, even though you move a little bit faster through these segments, uh, when you don't have. Uh, when there's not any water around, you can just change the water level by hitting some switches in the level. But, oh wait, oh, there's actually a platform there, I forgot. I actually have to lower the water a little bit, and if Snuckle stays underwater for too long, he'll eventually drown, so we quickly have to get up here. It, like, it's fine. I actually have to lower it just one then. Uh, there we go. So here we go, we're going down here again. Norm wait, no! You actually have to lower the entire way. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I remember. I Normally you lower the water all the way down uh, right at the start, but since two of those pieces were actually um, right there when we got there, it was actually uh, easier to just not go up all the way. This, this piece is a little bit annoying because it's just all the way up there and you need to do a quite... Uh, you only have a few frames to actually get high enough for this jump. There we go. I found him. Still, the two pieces were really fast, but since I messed up a little bit on the final one, it's probably slower than average. Yeah, this so is now that we're done with Knuckles here, I'm actually gonna, we're actually gonna come to a pretty unique level, if I remember correctly. Uh, as I might have mentioned before, there was, uh, I s said something about driving stages. Well, this is the level I was talking about. So there's this one level over here where we're actually going to be driving uh, into the uh, with Tails in this actually in this machine, which got converted because Tails is a uh, scientist which can invent cool robots. 
So well, the reason why I'm sleeping constantly like this is that you actually have a higher top speed in this uh, mode than um, than just going uh, not in this sleeping mode. I don't really know how to describe that. Uh, so we try to just stay in this mode by just constantly keeping slipping back and forward, uh, trying to keep this high speed as much as possible. A cool scene you can do with this is though, like I hope I can show it off in a moment, but let me go through this corner a little bit, is that you can actually glitch the game a little bit. Oh, that was a bit too much. I tried executing a little glitch over there, but I guess uh, we'll try it in a, a little bit of a later segment. Um, these rings you collect, uh, if you collect enough of them, you actually uh, gain a boost, which can quite tremendously increase your speed. Like for here, we, uh, my game froze. Oh, okay. For some reason, the game froze there. I don't know what that was. But we're back. Uh, what was I doing? I was driving. And I I promise to everyone who will ever get in a car with me, this is not how I drive in real life. Don't worry. Tails, did you, find the president? <laughs> you still scare me, if I'm totally honest. <laughs> well, I can make it a little bit more scary if the host really wants to, because they're... I'll do it after this next corner over here, which is probably the hardest corner during this stage. So I actually have to slow down here a little bit and then boost through. So let me actually execute this and we can actually drive backwards. And Tills uh, doesn't seem to be very amazed by it. He just keeps staring forward. And it's this way you, actually, you go just as fast uh, as you would when you're driving forward. It controls exactly the same, but it just it looks really funny. Although it is a little bit slow to set it up, but I thought since it's a marathon, I'm, it will be fine to do it like that. So here we're going to the final corner, and since we have a lot of speed, getting to this limousine we're actually chasing because we want to talk to the president, because apparently he knows where Dr. Eggman might be. So we're going to talk to the president over here, and he will... Uh, he is, has received a DVD by Dr. Eggman, who says that he found the ultimate weapon to destroy the world. And if he's, the president is not going to comply uh, uh, to actually surrender, he'll just actually blow up the planet. I like, which is really weird. Like, where the hell would Dr. Eggman go if the planet's gone? But uh, he didn't think this through entirely. Anyway, we uh, steal this. Well, we grab the DVD from the president, and we actually. Uh, locate the signal where it came from and it's actually from in this desert over here so uh, we're just gonna try going through this these pyramids and actually find the hidden base and this segment is gonna be a lot of shooting these pieces of dynamite to actually lower the platforms uh, and also shooting these doors these doors don't open until you have shot three bullets at them so I'll try to open them as quickly as possible just so I don't lose my momentum when I actually get to the door and this this guy is a little bit can be a little bit trolly like if you don't pay attention and you actually just hover over that platform you actually get hit over there anyway you're gonna shoot some more of those pieces of dynamite and we're just gonna do that for a few more sides because this level becomes a little bit repetitive after a while you think like wait wasn't that here before and then you actually realize oh no i wasn't but it seems really similar though so i'm going through the door over here and actually, while we're running up there, we'll try to shoot it open already. And we got that. So here we're going to use some of these pulleys to actually uh, get up. If you actually jump off of them right before they get to the end, you still have your upwards momentum from before. Uh, that way, uh, you can just jump off a little bit earlier than you would normally would then uh, actually uh, waiting until it's all the way on the top. There, we skipped a little bit of uh, this segment by just hovering over one of these doors. And then we're getting to the, this upward segment again, but it's different now, so... Uh, I, I guess we're not running in circles. Um, here I'll do another one of those hovers, so I can actually make it up these platforms a little bit easier. So there we go. There's one more we like would like to jump up. There. That way we don't have to lower the platform. Uh, the camera is a little bit broken. Hang on, let me try to fix that. 
Um, camera is a can be a little bit if you jump over that wall, so let me... Um, I feel like I broke the camera and that I actually... Okay, well, we died, then at least we can save the camera. Fix the camera, and that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh well, we'll do this segment again. Luckily we grabbed a 1-up, so we can afford dying then. So, I'll just play the safe side in uh, the safe way in, in case that happens again. Normally you would have to break those doors, but slightly slower, but I guess the camera won't get stuck like that. So here we go, final segment, then we get to this okay. upward segment again, where we have to break more of these pieces of dynamite. I actually hit some pieces of those dynamites when I entered uh, this upward segment over here. Uh, there were actually two, a uh, total of six pieces of dynamite I had to break there, with two of those pillars breaking down. Um, however, uh, since I already shot some of those early, it already sh uh, fell a little bit earlier. Try to do better next time. <laughs> so here we go, we found the hidden base of uh, where Eggman is, uh, we've, we're in this pyramid over here and apparently the hidden base is somewhere in here. So we're just gonna explore this a little bit and see where we can go. Uh, this is probably my favorite Sonic level in this game, just because it has a, cool of, a lot of cool skips to show up. Um, first things first, they, there are these hourglasses, which if you hit them, some doors open. But you can actually bounce off of them and actually skip little segments as well. Here we're gonna set up a little bit and actually jump over. Unfortunately, I barely didn't make that be because I got hit by the platform that or the thing where the thing hanging in the air. So that's a bit unfortunate. So we actually had to stand on us in that hourglass to actually get through. And now we get the most broken power up with Sonic, which is the bounce bracelet. And the cool thing about the bounce bracelet is that you can go really high. The thing with the bounce bracelet is, is that if you're bouncing, but if you still have forward momentum and hit a wall, you actually convert all that forward momentum into upwards momentum. Uh, that way you can just go through walls which weren't the in developers didn't think you would actually be able to get. You're going for a little skip here, because there is like two two or three pickups where you can actually clip through here, and we got a first try. I didn't expect that. So there we're clipping through that door because otherwise you have to find a key and uh, bring it all the way back, which is really slow, and I don't like going slow, especially with Sonic. So here rolling down, hitting the switch, and there's, and as you might see, there's another loop coming, and you know when we see a loop, we really like to skip them, so we just skip uh, jump a little bit early there. Also, one more loop, so we're just gonna jump over here and we'll move on forward. Also, we're bouncing up the wall here. Unfortunately, I didn't convert my forward momentum to upwards, so we just had to bounce up there the regular way. A little bit of a grinding segment and hit the switch. We're right at the end of the level where there's a similar loop coming up, so we're just gonna skip this the same way as before. Again, jumping on the side here, just so we can actually make it over. And using these boost pads. And that's the end of the level. And I guess we found the place where Eggman is going to be. I feel like with all these signs around here, it's, it's not really hidden, actually. Like, why did no one notice this before, that there are so many of these in here? Huh. No problem. Anyway, we're now at this door right at the end of the level, and we can't really get in this uh, level because it's locked. So... Knuckle decides to actually go into um, to go and find them. And this is probably the most annoying Knuckles level just because it's so big and it's pretty difficult to maneuver around. Uh, first things first, we're gonna grab and power up over here. Uh, and we can now break the iron crates. Oh, I hope that I would make it back in time. Not too big of a deal. Actually gonna grab a different here, here because it's gonna actually be two different ones. Uh, room with the glowing floor, I believe that's on this side. So we're gonna run through here. Knuckles is actually pretty fast if you don't actually hit any of the walls. Uh, it's not over here, unfortunately. Then it's on the other side. Yeah, it's between the red and blue room. So we're gonna run back and just go back to this other segment. As you can see, there are a lot of uh, move movement around here where we have to open doors with the switches, have to 
uh, dig through these walls, which actually open the next segment. Oh, we actually got hit there. It's fine. Actually grabbing one of the rings just to be safe. And it's it going to be in disc I Like, those two rooms are so similar that I kind of sometimes forget where we're going. Remember, there's a blue hint. Uh, there's a hint on the blue side, so that's where we're running. And it's going to be bugs chatting. And um, as you might have seen throughout the level, there are these bugs uh, in these early levels. And... Uh, in these early levels, in these early, in these big rooms, and there are just three different rooms where they can be in. Uh, they're all they're they're all aligned, slightly bit different. So from that, you can actually, from the box jetting, I should know where one is. However, we got pretty lucky over here, and we actually see one of the pieces hanging right here, making me skipping the hint. So it's actually going to be in the red room. So we're quickly going to go back there, and hopefully, I still am able to make this and. Oh, I ran into this thing, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, there are some bugs over the, over here on the wall, and it seems like they're chatting, so that's what the hint applies to. Anyway, that was the longest knuckle stage. I'm happy that's over. It can be really annoying here and there. Anyway, now we found the keys to actually get into the, uh, into the base, and we find an interesting guard over here, because... You know, Eggman apparently has found a really weird, Who's there? weird guy, which is actually gonna help him. It's what? Big, Bo it's King Boo. I, I mean, King Boom Boo. This, this isn't Luigi's mansion. Anyway, uh, this guy is gonna throw some fire at us, and once he's uh, is done throwing fire, he'll actually breathe fire at us. A fire-breathing ghost. It's pretty scary. Um, but once I hit, uh, he starts breathing fire, I can actually hit the guy that's holding an hourglass behind him. So now I'm quickly going to run over there. And once that happens, he actually goes in the ground and uh, becomes vulnerable. Because ghosts don't like light at all. So we're quickly going to go over here. And we're going to quickly hit him. And we're going to keep running. Because even though he gets really fast, we're barely able to keep up with him. Hopefully I can make this a one cycle. I, oh, it's actually running the other way now. I think I'm gonna miss the one cycle over here. Yeah, I'm not going fast enough anymore. Like, if you're going full speed with Knuckles and stay close to the corner, you're actually going slightly faster than him. Um, however, it can sometimes be a little bit annoying to actually uh, make him uh, do him in a one cycle. Unfortunately, if we miss the one cycle by just one hit, it's gonna actually take quite a while before he actually uh, goes into, uh, before he goes vulnerable again. So he's gonna throw like eight flames, I think now. So that's five, six, seven, eight. Uh, wait, I'm, I probably miscounted. And anyway, also at this phase, you actually have to stop until we actually start breathing fire. There we go. So now we're gonna hit him, and and this time he actually gets a little bit faster to actually uh, get him when he's stuck in the ground. So let's quickly go after him. And hit him one more time. There we go. A little bit slow because I didn't get them on cycle, but ah, it's a marathon. Those mistakes happen. Anyway, we find Dr. Eggman in the middle of the base and we figure out that his big plan is actually going to take him to space. And uh, apparently, uh, I mean, that weapon is in space. So uh, right before uh, he goes off to space, he, well, he quickly makes his escape and leaves us with his golem and we have to stop him because we can't escape from this room until he's gone. So we're quickly gonna wait until he hits us twice and then we can actually go to the back over here. Unfortunately, I messed up a little bit of my setup, so he's actually going in a little bit of a slow cycle over here. Hopefully he uh, spins a little bit fast and we can go back onto the back here. These platforms can be a little bit annoying, like sometimes you just try to jump on them and you just get knocked off. It's kind of weird. So... I really take my jumps really careful over here. So we're gonna jump up three more times and actually gonna hit him once more. And now he's go actually gonna use a different attack where he's gonna actually headbutt the platform, which actually lowers these platforms by quite a lot. Like every time he hits uh, those platforms, they actually drop. Oh, see, sometimes like that, things like that can happen, but I've managed to recover. But yeah, now he's gonna spin again and it's. Probably his longest attack, so normally I try to avoid getting this cycle, but uh, I, I moved at the beginning of the level, which uh, kind of messed up with the cycle over there. 
anyway, that's the Yak Golem. Let's see if I can actually... Uh, if you do it really well, you can actually get a bounce off that uh, little edge and you can actually hit him really early. However, I don't know the threats, so I just didn't go for it during the actual fight. Anyway, we've conveniently found another rocket inside here and we're actually in space right now. And we're gonna probably do the most interesting tilt level and also the least interesting tilt level at the same time. Because this level has like the biggest skip in the game, which is kind of cool. Um, however, it involves a lot of flying uh, into the abyss where nothing is really going on. So for this first part of the stage, we're just gonna run through the stage and gonna be really careful with our shots because if you shoot open those doors where the dynamite is in front of it, uh, they actually try to suck you in, uh, which can actually just, which is an instant kill. So we try to av avoid hitting those, so quickly walking around there, actually making sure that I don't hit that second piece of dynamite. Um, can I do some donations? Or? Yeah, you can definitely do some donations. We got a one euro donation from Rigold saying real 5,000 euro because we were actually at 499.73 uh, euros before. <laughs> Uh, we also have a 1 euro and 27 cent donation from Anonymous for the sake of actual round numbers and OCD. Money, money goes to runner's choice. And that amazing roundness is going to be ruined instantly by Stone Cold Steve Austin with a 3 euro and 16 cent donation saying, And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so, by God. So to kill that guy, it actually will try to stay hiding like that. So you actually have to get really close to it and actually use your punching glove to make it through. Here I'm doing one more of those uh, buffer jumps and I'm not going to risk it making it to that platform. However, we can use this balloon. If we actually shoot a bullet at it, it's actually going to gain us some extra height. And now the most interesting skip of this category is coming up. We can actually can try jumping over here. And if you have the right angle and the right amount of speed, you actually get clipped out by the door. So uh, it's gonna take, might take a couple of tries because it is a little bit inconsistent. However, I hope I can do it in like a couple of tries. It's definitely worth it going for this three because it will like save almost two minutes, I think. So I'll stay here for a little while. So I'm using a little bit of a setup there to get the correct angle. And um, once I, I'm just holding into the corner over here, which actually makes me get pretty close to the wall. And then I just jump, try to jump right at the start of that little cylinder thing. And there we go, we clip through. So now is the most boring part of the level, which is just going to be hovering for like almost a minute, I think. Unfortunately, I have to hold two buttons, uh, including one with my right hand and one with my left hand. So I can't do a selfie at this moment. So you can, if you could tell us what we're raising money for, now would be the perfect time for that. Okay, we are running in support of the Dutch Cancer Society, which is an awesome foundation which uh, aims to prevent and fight cancer and to help those who are currently already battling the disease by putting in a lot of money into research and to special houses that uh, dispense information to information to people who need it, uh, like family mm. members, but also those yeah. actually suffering from it. 90% of all uh, donations uh, will be going directly to the Dutch Cancer Society, and the other 10% will go into making this stream as good as we can. And uh, we do hold these, the speedrunning marathons on locations every single month, so if you would like to, uh, to figure out when the next one is, Follow us on Twitter, and all the information will be tweeted out uh, on time. So a really unfortunate thing happened there. There was actually, the goal ring was supposed to be right there, but I barely missed hitting it, so I actually died, so I have to do the clip again. Which, again, might take a while again. But hopefully I can get it with one of these tries. But as I said, it can be a little bit random whether you get it or not. It's a pretty precise angle uh, to actually get it, so... Hopefully I can quickly get this. Uh, it's really annoying. I even don't know how to do the level regularly, so I'm definitely not going for that. So here... There we go. Alright, another try. This time I'll just... 
hover down really, 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 really slow. In the meantime, uh, if you want to know what you can donate for to d get special things in this uh, marathon, uh, the nearest donation incentive coming up is for the Animal Crossings run, and those are the character name, which is currently on Morty with 25 euros, or the town name, which is currently on England, uh, or just England without the A, um, on 11 euros. So if you want to uh, snipe those um, donation incentives, you can go ahead and do so. Alright, come on. Hit it. There we go. So what actually happens there is that we're actually uh, behind where the actual goal ring is. That's why you couldn't see it. However, the hitbox of the goal ring is coming slightly out of the wall there, which because the game didn't, uh, the developers didn't think that you would be able to get on that side. So you can actually hit the goal ring from the other side. Um, otherwise, you technically you could have clipped inside, but then you would have to do a little bit of a fight to actually uh, get uh, to actually get to the goal ring. Anyway, this is the final knuckle stage over here. I'm actually gonna grab a ring because uh, it can be a little bit random. The hint is a dangerous water drop, which isn't the greatest. Well, it can actually be in two different spots. Hopefully it's a good one and actually starts peeping around now. Fortunately it doesn't, so that means it's actually gonna be all the way on the top. Which isn't the worst thing in the world since uh, since we can actually just uh, is quite easily... Oh wait, it's on the other side. It's gonna be in this guy. There we go. Uh, a star between three arches, which is all the way down, which uh, it takes a little while to fall down, but we can quickly determine where this uh, this one is going to be. So it's actually between these three arches. It's, it's going to be in here. Right. Oh, barely missed it. One more left. Anyway, one more between two rotating beacons. I'm not 100% sure where this is going to be, but I'm sure the radar will start beeping once I get close. Luckily, this... Once you use these rockets, uh, the level is quite vertical and everything is close to what this middle vertical. It's not too difficult to s make the radar start beeping. I was hoping to see a uh, hint computer over there, but I feel like it's going to be a pretty slow piece over here. So let me see. A lot of small meteorites. It's oh wait, I actually know where it is. It's actually all the, it's all the way in the corner over here. So it's a l this piece is actually a little bit annoying because there's a spring pad right over here and you actually have to dig in between here without hitting the spring. But we didn't hit the spring again. It, as you saw, if you hit the spring, it actually takes quite a while to actually make it back up. So anyway, we're getting, we're starting to get close to the end of the run. Uh, we have three more boss fights and two more stages to go, I believe. Um, and we're gonna start off with um, the boss fight against Rouge. Rouge is like the counterpart of Knuckles, which she also she does the treasure hunt stages in the Dark Story, and uh, she is also looking for the pieces of the emerald because she apparently just like big dime, big gems like that. This fight is a little bit, it's really interesting. Like uh, there's a very specific strat you use for this one just to make it go really fast. You just grab a ring and then you start spin diving right next to her. And if you just keep spin diving like this right next to her, you just keep on hitting her. So there we go, there. she's down. Uh, if you take too long on this fight, uh, the floor will actually open up and uh, there will be lava underneath. And that lava actually uh, makes the air go up all the way and uh, that way you just don't have a lot of platforms to stand on, so you don't really know uh, where Rouge will actually land. Uh, so, yeah. Definitely getting, uh, killing her before the, 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 the before that thing opens up uh, is really beneficial. Anyway, we're gonna be uh, do messing a lot with gravity over here. Like as you saw there, I skipped a little bit of a segment and I was upside down at the place where I wasn't supposed to be. It's it almost feels like Super Mario Galaxy, yeah. Like there we're also always upside down. Um, so in this next part, the intended way is to go actually hit the right one and then there will actually be a rail where, which you can use. However, you can also just jump down here and actually just clip straight through this wall over here. That guy, that guy also has really good aim in comparison to other enemies uh, because... Oh, got stuck there a little bit. 
So actually, got a bounce over here. But that guy always seems to hit me. No matter what I do, it just always is able to predict where I'm gonna go. Uh, let's quickly see here. Since their electricity is not disappearing, I'm just jumping around them. And we're gonna go into the next segment. And in this segment, I'll be meshing B right when I go out. Uh, just because there's a, a line of rings over there, which if I instantly press B, I'll actually gain speed and make go forward already a little bit earlier. Here we're grabbing one more power up, which we're only gonna be needing once, which is really unfortunate. And there is a there is actually a really big skip in this level. However, it involves going out of bounds a lot, and it's pretty pretty difficult. I've been trying to learn it, but it just doesn't want to work yet. So I wasn't definitely not going it for this marathon. Um, but yeah, that flame ring, with those we can open these iron crates. And there are like only two iron crates in this level where, which we actually have to open. In the next Sonic level we don't even need uh, to have it. Anyway, just gonna keep on rolling here and gonna go open this final one. Like, these enemies are a little bit in the way, so sometimes Sonic will just keep on homing attacking against them. Uh, so. Uh, you, but usually just meshing A while being near the backside over there is uh, pretty fast. Anyway, we're gonna kill this guy, so this door actually opens up. That way we can skip this little segment and actually go through this door immediately. Now, oh, we actually have to hit that switch to open up the door. So, there we go. And this final segment can be really confusing as a casual player. There's, there's just moving from these, this one color block to the other. However, we don't really want to do that, so we're just gonna do a super bounce up there. I can make it. Oh, barely not. Hang on. Oh, we are back on the platform. Oh, sometimes your forward momentum just gets changed to a different direction, but there we go. And if you then do a spin jump and run off there, you actually hit the goal ring, which is hidden in a little cage over there. So that was one more Sonic level, where actually the final level will also be with Sonic, but before that, we actually. Uh, have to beat one more boss fight with Tails. And uh, we've already fought Eggman a little bit before, but uh, since the last time he actually has learned some new strats. And uh, for some reason, you c can't get that power up uh, when you're playing as Dr. Eggman. Like, but for some reason, the very bad attack is on Tails' side. So I don't know where they find these uh, attacks, but they're really annoying. Anyway, we're just gonna start shooting uh, where he's running to actually make that go a little quick. Oh, I was a little bit slow there, so he's actually... That's the really annoying attack I was talking about. This big laser is just ridiculous, like how much damage it does, and it can be pretty annoying to avoid. Luckily, we didn't get hit there, and that barely got rid of him uh, without us getting killed. Sometimes you get just get hit by that laser, and you get knocked back into the laser again, which actually... If you stay there for a little while, it actually will hit us two counts, which almost guarantees that you will die. Anyway, the final level is this. After this, there will only be one more boss fight. And this segment is definitely one of the hardest Sonic stages. Uh, we're actually in space over here, and we got to grind over all these rails. Luckily, Sonic is really fast on these rails, so we're going to be trying to stay as long as possible on them, unless we can skip like a really big part. Again, in this level, there's a really big part with going out of bounds, but I'm... Um, I'm really not good at it, so I'm not gonna do it. Fortunately, I missed a rail over there. Luckily, the level continues a little bit further down over here, so we can do a backup and actually land on one of these rails. Actually, have to be on that one. And for this next part, there's actually this rail gonna be on the right side. Hopefully, I can land on this. There we go. This actually skips like 30 seconds of the level, which already helps quite a lot. And probably uh, in a couple of moments, one of a really cool skip is coming up. And that needs a little bit of explanation. Uh, once uh, Sonic is one of the on one of these vertical rails, its gravity is actually pointing towards the wall. Um, however, if you jump off fast enough, uh, the gravity will actually uh, keep on pointing towards the gravity, and then stuff like this can happen. Oh, actually, did make it. Would be really cool if right at the explanation, it would w would have worked. Uh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Oh, come on. You actually need to do a bounce first and then do a homing attack to gain enough speed. Uh, however, I'm barely not making this. Hang on. Ah, oh, come on. Stop bouncing off the ball. Oh. There we go. And then we're running on the ball. Now we're just gonna keep on running over here. 
And we're gonna keep running even further. And the end is right over here. Actually, keeping that wall run going for that long doesn't usually happen to me, so that was actually really good wall run over there, even though it took a little while to set up. Sometimes you just uh, clip off the wall after a while, and uh, you just have to do the final segment the regular way. However, we luckily didn't get to see any of that segment over there. Anyway, that's we're getting close to, not really close to the end, but like one more minute of this level, I guess. Uh, and we're just gonna spin onto those rails, because if you actually are spinning and get on one of those rails, you actually are a little bit faster than uh, you normally would. So here we go, we're gonna avoid this little platform over here and gonna hit the spring over here. Uh, it's a little bit slower to hit the spring, you can technically do also, also do a spin jump, but sometimes when you land on that platform it can act a bit weird and you just fall off the platform. Anyway, we're gonna run over here quickly, going into this little tunnel, bringing us right to the end, because once we're in here, we're getting followed by this really big pile of trash, but if you just start running, you just keep far and far ahead of it. Actually gonna try to stay in the middle, so I'll just hit the goal ring right when we get here. And that was actually the final level. Now, just one more boss fight is coming up. Hopefully it won't take that long, because I'm already overestimated because of that Mess, uh, uh, mess up skip uh, with sales, unfortunately. So the final boss, as, as we've already fought, fought Rouge, we also fought Eggman. It would definitely make sense to now go for, um, as the final boss, it will be Shadow. Actually finding myself over here. So this guy takes five hits. The time will be when I hit him the first time. I also call it out. Uh, but the easiest way to fight this boss is just wait until he does his attack and then oh he actually knocked me off that's great all right let's try that again if you go a little bit too fast you actually get hit by its attack and yeah you, you just get knocked off which is really annoying so technically there's a fast threat for this where you can just keep on homing attacking and you'll uh, quickly gain some hits on him, however, it's not the most consistent thing, for me at least. So there we go, that's three hits, two more hits to go. Actually get a little bit closer so the platform doesn't fall down. There we go, one more hit to go, time is almost there. And time. But yeah, that was the hero story. We f defeated all the guys from the Dark Storm and we actually saved the planet. Technically, there's a, an extra story after this if you beat both Dark and Hero story. However, that's a completely uh, different part of this run, so we're not going to do that. So thank you all for watching, and I think the F-Zero block is coming up, so that's going to be hype. And indeed it 